Well, uh, this is Fiona Hughes, one of DNA Sports Performance Limited's cross-country skiing athletes in the Great Britain squad. Um, Fee, tell us a bit about yourself and your sport. Um, I'm 21 years old, I come from Huddersfield and I'm a cross-country skier. I started cross-country skiing when I was about eight and I've been racing competitively since about 13 or 14 years old. Um, went to World Junior Championships for three years and before that I went to the European Youth Olympics. Last year, last season, um, was my first year competing as an under-23 at the World Championships and two seasons ago I was part of the British team at the Olympics in Vancouver. Oh, that's excellent. Tell us how, how you got into cross-country skiing in the UK, because there isn't much snow around. Both my parents cross-country skied just for fun, so when I was younger, me and my sister got taken on holiday to Norway and taught to ski there and got into it through that. I did a few fun races when I was younger, really enjoyed it, so I've carried on. Oh, good stuff. And tell us a bit about um, your experience of uh, going to Vancouver and competing in, in, in the Olympics. It was amazing really, it's a bit, hard, a bit hard to describe, it's like living in a bubble for a month, just living in the athlete's village, everything all inclusive, it's just perfect living environment for an athlete, gyms that are open all day, unlimited food supplies, um, really good training facilities and loads of like other entertainment in the village and stuff and the cross touch steam venue there wasn't any problems with snow really good tracks not m not the biggest crowds of like when you compete in europe just because not, not compared to the world championships in norway no they didn't quite get there one and a half no, hundred and fifty thousand people that they had in norway but it was really good atmosphere and racing against the best skiers in the world in the biggest competition like cross touch steam has so it was, it was an amazing experience, learned a lot from it and was really pleased with how I raced. I believe you roomed with a certain young um, international superstar from Great Britain now, is yeah. that right? Yeah, um, I was roommates with Amy Williams, so I'd met her once before and yeah, really enjoyed sharing a room with her. It was her all her competitions were after mine, so I was able to go and watch her as well and yeah, it was really good fun. Good, so that's obviously given you massive inspiration for the next Olympic cycle. Sodgy, fingers crossed, everything goes well. Yeah, um, should just, yeah. So it was amazing to see her win, win gold and see what, like, what it means to her and the amount of things that it's, yeah. It's, it's brought a lot more attention to winter sports and yeah, she's, she's done really well. It also shows just how much hard work it does take to get Olympic medal, but yeah, prepared to put the work in. Um, so tell us about Bit about the work that we've done together at DNA Sports Performance. Um, me as your health and conditioning coach, when you come to meet me quite a few years ago, um, what sort of things have we done since then, Pete? Before I came to see you, I hadn't really done any like much strength training, so a lot of it was basic technique and build, gradually building up my strength from there, so going from more basic lifts to um, doing Olympic lifts and things like that. I remember I couldn't even do a pull-up when I started and now I can put 10 kilograms on and do a pull-up as well. So definitely like, my strength's improved a lot. Um, a lot of stabili stability core work as well, but mainly building strength. And how does that transfer to you getting faster on those skis and the others and then smashing, smashing people out of the way? Cross Trinity is a bit of a weird spot because you need power, strength, endurance, you need a bit of everything just because of the variation of the races that we do and things. So it's definitely made me a lot stronger, more explosive and just being able to maintain strength over, like, over the course of the races. Excellent. Um, in your future career, um, we've already talked about the next Olympic cycle which, uh, which you're undertaking yourself now in university, what's that small university that you're studying at, the least well-known university in the country is it? Um, I'm doing engineering at Cambridge at the moment so I've just finished first year and I'm managing to, yeah, successfully managing to mix skiing and studying. I came 27th at World Under 23s last year and that was my first year in the age group so I've got another two more years of that so I think I think I've proved that I can uh, mix, mix the two successfully. It just, <laughs> just requires quite good time management and quite a lot of dedication, but it's good fun and I enjoy skiing too much to let it go. Um, so where do you see the future work that we're going to do at DNA Sports Performance taking you um, in your Olympic dream? Well, I want to and need to 
carry on getting faster and getting by getting stronger and doing strength work and working with you here, it's definitely making me faster. So hopefully carry on, carry on lifting regularly, lifting more and yeah, hopefully make me f carry on making me faster. Good stuff. Well, thank you very much for the interview. Thank you. Uh,